Tier 3 Civ, from my rankings, they're a little one-dimensional, they do war, they do early war very well, and after that they don't have much in the way of bonuses that matter, although the late game promotion bonus is kind of nice, uh, the less experience for promotions. Ah. Let's see what everyone else gets. Alright, uh, Snuffles on Rome, Tier 3 Civ, Babylon, uh, Corwall on Babylon Tier 1 Civ, Wooker on uh, France Tier 5 Civ, Assyria, uh, Gentleman on Assyria Tier 4 Civ, and uh, Melamere on Denmark. I can't remember if I have them currently as Tier 4 or Tier 5, I think they are Tier 5. Uh, so Tier 5, Tier 5, Tier 4, Tier 1, Tier 3, Tier 3. Um, Gentleman's a very, very good player. Um, played with him quite a lot. He tends to be fairly passive, but he's great because he won't team. Um, I really like that about him, although it can be frustrating sometimes when someone's way ahead, but I really like that about him in general. Um, a little worried about Babylon and a little worried about Rome. These other ones I'm not quite as worried about, although, of course, any player can make any Civ dangerous. It's just a matter of the bonuses on that. Um, no one's settled yet. The start. Mm. Not in love with the start. I haven't tried to move yet. Uh, I need to think a little bit more before I do this. Um, I don't love this start for a couple reasons. First and foremost, I don't like calendar resources. I especially don't like calendar resources that are sucking up my river tiles. I don't like grassland starts in general. I prefer plains. I want to settle not on grass. I want to settle on grassland, but I don't want to settle on plains, but I want plains river tiles. I'm actually really tempted to move down to the cotton and settle directly on the cotton, or potentially maybe over here on the grassland hill. Let's get a little more information if we can. Um, See if there's anything worth uh, looking at over this way. A okay, marsh that doesn't give us any information. Raw, raw plains gives us basically no information. Uh, it's kind of tough. Um, I'm really tempted between the cotton. Either way, it's two turns. I move to the cotton and settle, or I move to here. The benefit of the cotton is I get an immediate growth tile, and I'm getting the gold from that. The benefit of the hill is I'm getting the production from that. And I'm actually kind of tempted to take the hill. Grassland Hill. I am still the same number of tiles away from the uh, my stone and the same number of tiles away. I'm actually moving away from the wine, but it will eventually grow out there. I'm going to take the hill. Alright. A little bit slower growth to begin Hello. with, but uh, still interesting stuff. Let's take a look, see if there's anything else I want to see before I settle. Another luxury down here, rune down here. Still river system. This is okay. I'm going to settle on the hill. Alright, a little slower growth. Oh well. Uh, let's grab pottery and choose production. We're going to grab our scouts. Uh, this looks like a totally fine game for tradition. I actually prefer tradition as Sulu. So. Oh, is this coast over here? Yeah. City state down here, cool. Uh, Flatland as well, should be easy to tribute. Uh, Ruin to pick up next turn. I uh, did meet the city state first, which is good. I have to see what the rest of this land looks like. Not seeing much in the way of expansions right now. Alright, was a pop rune. It's good and bad. Uh, I'm gonna just buy the cattle right away and work that. Depending on where I am, I maybe will empty rush someone. We'll see. Uh, see how close we are and how much land I have. Uh, I like to take advantage of my special abilities when I can. Um, although early war is costly. Archer camp here, we don't really care about it too much. I'm not going to be improving these tiles for a while, regardless. Too bad I didn't settle on the cotton. I mean, I guess in retrospect, this is fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I like the extra production from that. That's totally fine. I am a little shy in overall production in this city. It's only had the three hills, four hills, I guess. Hey, Luca, glad you're uh, checking that out. Uh, put a lot of effort into making that Civ list, um, the tier list. I think it's fairly accurate. I reserve the right to later change my mind about those things, but uh, it was kind of fun to do. Had me Let me kind of formalize some of the thought processes I've had about that. Uh, I went ahead 
And I want to see what's over this way. I think this is going to be the edge of the map on the west here, um, but I don't know that. I'm probably going to go tradition this game. I don't see a strong pull for liberty, and tradition is kind of a default, safer strategy to go. And I like tradition as zoo anyways, so um, that's where I'm at right now. All right, another luxury over here. Two luxuries over here, and it actually is expand. It is a little further. Um, oh, another city state. Cool. Another flatland too. That's great. That's going to be easy tribute over here. Perhaps I'm not on the western edge. Might be on the eastern edge if this continues to be coastline up around the area. Two luxuries over here. This means I'm definitely expanding somewhere over there. The land looks fairly bad. It looks like just raw plains right now, which I don't like at all. So, we'll see. Um, I should have had a look to see if I could have made that scout one turn instead of two. Uh, 95 gold, very nice. Uh, I'm going to probably use... Man, tough call here. I could use the 95 gold to buy out to the stone, which would be quite a nice production boost, um, as well as continuing to grow. Um, or I could potentially save the money for a spearman. Um, but it's a little ways away yet on a spearman. I may kind of hedge that a little bit and just wait for the borders to expand once and then purchase. Another city-state in there. Another flatland too, so that's three city-states I can tribute from. <laughs> Two ruins over there. Interesting area. Don't have a clear pantheon in mind. Um, don't have much in the way of anything here that suggests faith. There's faith off the stone, but it's very slow and there's not a lot of it. Um, I'm actually considering uh, grabbing something like God King right now. Let's move to here. Okay, I'm going to lose this ring to Sinai over there, is that what that is? So I do want to now expand over there pretty much immediately if I can. Another city state in there. Ooh. So, alright. Let's see if I can first move him on the spear. I'm getting trolled by people. Hold on. Alright, so, oh, he took it this turn, so he had more movement points. We'll get this ruin. Looks like a city-state is directly on Sinai, so we may have to do something about that. Alright, got a Spearman. That's a huge upgrade at this portion of the game, so I have three flat one city-states and a pop ruin. And I am going to buy out now to this. Uh, I don't really care which side it grows. Let's go ahead and grab that stone. And keep scouting. No, that's right the first time. So this is dead space over here. My uh, other players are over to the east. Um, out of range of that to tribute right now, but I'm not going to be that far out of range. Alright, let's have a look. Who's the city states? It's Laza. Cool. Let's take tribute. Um, additionally, we're going to get a Pantheon probably next turn from that. I don't think any have gone right now, right? It's Right, so I'm going to be first to that. Um, grab mining. There is not one that screams to me about any of these, so I guess stone, there's enough stone around here that, that stone is something. It'll be a little slower early, but potentially what it does get me is a religion. And that's the only downside of God King right now, is I'm not seeing it necessarily get me a religion. Uh, I'm going to buy that tile and work it right away. And scout to here. And next turn. Pretty nice start, honestly. Let's grab stone. Potentially if I can get a settlement off over here. What did I just get? I just got culture. I just got culture, too. Nice set of runes. A lot of runes this game. Um, I want to bring the spear down and start getting tribute from these other city-states. So let's do that. The scouts can move through here. Laza actually has a unique luxury and it's settled on the coast and on a river system with uh, decent hills near it. I'm considering killing Laza fairly early. Let's go ahead and grab a... man. You can even do a granary here. I gotta think if I want the settler right now. I guess the settler is probably the safer bit, bet to establish some borders. 
If you're wondering about the mod that I'm using, I did finally get around to linking that. You can go to my profile page on Twitch and uh, click on the mods button and you will see what mod I'm using. Contribute these guys now. So I actually should be tracking the tributes because it's fairly early in the game and I can get a lot of these tributes. So this is turn what? So I did it two turns ago, so I did it on turn 11 for, Ale for Laza, which means I can do it again on 22. And this was Melbourne. I did it on turn 13, so I can do it again on 24. Okay. Scope through here. More coastal resources. Nice expand up there. Yeah, I have great lands. Great lands, decent sieve. Unless there's someone coming up through here, I should be in pretty good shape. Alright, I am getting shot by this stupid archer. I don't want that. This is going to lower my combat strength right when I want to be taking tribute. Um, I guess I just want to scout anyways in there. I'm going to send this guy down to the west a little bit to see anything in here. And... I want to get shot at least one more time. It's too bad. Alright, let's grab bronze working. I am going to want to get a couple... Um, Spearmen out. They're not going to get MP promoted, unfortunately, but um, they're not going to get the the early melee pr uh, promotions that I like. But they will uh, have to do for now because I want to keep taking tribute from all these city states. There's four flatland city states near me. Should make a really ridiculous, um, really ridiculous start. All right, uh, there's my free monument. Let's scout over this way. It looks like I'm neighboring Babylon, which I don't love, um, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to get shot again. I should have moved to there to avoid being shot. I'm losing a lot of combat strength on my spear for no reason. Probably means I won't be able to tribute Manila until uh, I'm out of uh, getting a spearman. So. Alright. There's a unique luxury here. There's a unique luxury there. There's a unique luxury here, here, and there, and here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bathe too. What does Melbourne have? They have whales. What does Manila have? They have pearls. Pearls is unique too. We'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to get an expand all the way over here. It's kind of far away, but it would be nice. Alright, this is a problem now with the spear. I need the spear not to die to these archers, and there's enough archers around there. It's a slightly, prob slightly problem. Slight problem. Yeah, it's too close to Babylon to realistically expand over there. Um, I do kind of like the idea of MP rushing Babylon. That to me seems like a pretty solid investment in the late game on this. Uh, why am I not growing? Oh, I'm building a settler. I should be working better production while I'm doing that. It was a mistake. But nice start. Uh, I'd really like to tribute some workers, so I need to get some spears and I need these cities to grow to pot 4. Yevron can give me a worker. You can't get worker tributes before pot 4. Manila can't yet. Nice to get a good start. And I'm glad I moved south. That's actually going to allow a city up here that's realistic. Alright. Um, I don't want to waste promotions on this guy if I can avoid it. I would like an open terrain promotion. And I'd like to run to here. Hopefully that's far enough away from the bar that I'm not going to get shot some more. Another city state. Crazy. And another flatland. That's five flatland city states next to me. This is going to be wonderful. Another rune up there. Very cool. Nice start. Hey, Snick. Third luxury in there, too. Depending on where I settle, I might be able to steal it from them with a the general very quickly. Alright, so I'm going to take over a ton of land in here. There's going to be expand up here, um, expand somewhere in here, expand over here. I'm taking Laza. Uh, potentially, I can get other things, too. Let's grab the rune. Okay, 100 gold. Very nice. I'm going to be purchasing spears starting next turn. That's actually going to let me purchase two spears, which is just fucking crazy. And let's see if there's anything down here. Oh, that land continues. Interesting. I wasn't expecting the land to continue. Let's get in there. A barb can spawn and kill me here. This is actually problematic. I probably shouldn't have done that. That's actually really dangerous. I don't want to lose this fucking spear at all. But it's potentially possible. I'm going to have to wait one turn on this worker when it does arrive. Because I need, um, need that. Uh, I need to get spears out. And I can't do that currently. Don't spawn. Okay, cool. We'll move to here. We'll hang out in there. I'm going to have to wait a turn regardless. Uh, let's go ahead and start work on a uh, worker. Worker or granary. Uh, granary is fine. Uh, I don't mind growing while this is happening. 
and I really should work the production if possible, although missing the gold is un unfortunate. So this is, wow, Kilimanjaro over here too, just to really kind of rub it in. Another player over here, looks like Gentleman's in there as a Syria. Um, interesting, I thought I was going to have more land over there, but I don't. But that's still fairly claimable. Maybe Babylon will be isolated over in the east and the rest of the land will extend west. This is just, I keep getting mixed signals as to where everything is. Okay, I can start purchasing spears next turn, and I just screwed myself with that, didn't I, by moving this guy in? That's dumb. It means I waste a turn healing. Yeah, that's bad. It means I, I lose a full turn healing. I can't purchase units when this guy's in there. Let's buy the first spear. Uh, can we tribute yet? Not close enough. It hasn't registered one or the other. Um, let's go into archery tech. Keep scouting. There's Babylon. Hop 2, that's crazy. That means he's been spamming a worker. Or excuse me, a settler. Can't purchase until you're outside. Um, I'm not even sure I want archery right now. There's really something to be said about Great Library this game or at least early libraries. As Zulu, you really have to prepare early. If you're going to impy rush someone, you have to prepare so early to do it, because they just arrive so quickly on the, on the, tree, on the, the tech tree. Alright, let's scout further this way, get past him and see what's over there. We're healing in here. Um, I want to get uh, a worker tribute, but I also want to get a gold tribute. So let's move to here, purchase another spearman, and we can tribute here for gold. This is turn 21 on Manila. We can actually tribute Laza again next turn. Alright, and then I'm going to start getting collecting uh, worker tributes from these other city-states. Another city-state, flat land again. Crazy. Alright, so uh, Settler can wait. Next turn we can move the Settler to this hill. I'm going to expand west first. Right there, actually. There's a worker in there. <laughs> what a crazy start. Okay. Um, we're going to go get that worker in a moment here. Um, gentleman still the worker. That's fine. Babylon looks like it's off to the edge. Settler out. Great. We'll keep growing. Pop 5. Grow again. Um, looks like my borders are actually expanding to the wine too, which is nice. Uh, oh, I can tribute them. Can I tribute... Let's tribute gold is fine. Another 90 gold. This is... Um, I tributed on turn 22. The next time I can tribute from them is 36. Excuse me. Uh, 33. We can tribute Melbourne again on turn 24. So one, two, two more turns. Oh, that scout's in trouble. Alright, um... Let's move over. I want to settle where? He doesn't look like he's claiming lands. I'm probably going to settle here. Alright, let's grab calendar. I am going to need a worker fairly soon here. Um, the scout. Have a quick look at the barbs or players in there, you know. Melbourne, contribute, be tributed again. Cool, let's do it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna buy, purchase probably oh, man. another spear. I'm tempted to do another spear right now. So we tributed them again, so I can tribute them next at 43. Oh no, not 43. Uh, 25 is 35. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Um, I'm taking the unit. It's a free worker. Let's move over here. I am going to be delayed a turn on these guys, I think. I don't think there's anything I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, let's put a turn into a barracks. And 
Um, let's go up this way. See if I can get this scout out alive. Uh, we'll go this way. I don't think it's gonna matter. The settler's going east. That's really crazy. He's claiming land, but not land land to the west. He's claiming land to the east. That's just nuts. All right, bring the worker back. I need to get calendar for my resources. Um, let's get in this way. All right, I only need one spear to escort this guy. Let's go here. Uh, what's he at? I think open terrain is still the great call right now. Okay, radar shows us. Let's move in there. Uh, back this way, back that way. Alright, we grew. Uh, cool. Let's work this tile. And I'm okay for another settler right now. And I want to see where this, this guy's going. It's going over this way. Crazy. Okay. Um, this is a novice play. Um, if you have boundaries that are contested, always expand to the contested side first. You're racing people for spots is what you're doing there. So I don't think this is um, particularly good play. Let's see if we can get away from that and not die. Um, let's move. Can we get to there without dying? Yeah, it's fairly safe for now. Alright, we'll move in just in case. Worker across to there. This guy can heal a turn. This guy can... Alright, I guess I can cross and heal next turn. I'm probably going to grab another spear and keep tributing. So let's grab another spearman. Um, we just got Kilimanjaro upgraded. Great. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go get a worker from Quebec City and a worker from Yeverin. And then I'm going to kill Lhasa. Let's probably take tribute from Lhasa, steal a worker from Lhasa, and kill Lhasa all in that, that order. Um, I should even look at this, right? What's the production? 13. If I put it... Ah, oh, shit. Rate library just went. That's really early. 13. What does it come down to if I do that? 14. That's actually better. So we'll work that for now. Uh, anything in here I need to be worried about? There's something there. But that should be okay. Let's move to here. We'll wait till the end of the turn to move that in just a second. Who took rate library, by the way? No one I know. All right. Fair enough. Uh, we'll cross to here, start improving the luxury. Um, let these guys heal a turn each. Cross to here. We'll start going for Quebec City. We want a worker from them. And let's scout through. I want to have a look at Gentleman's Capital. And what else are we doing? Writing's a decent thing for this sieve. So is the wheel, though. Some chariot archers would be really easy to do something with. Um, I think we're last to move here. Okay, still fairly safe. We'll move to here and settle next turn. All right, no worker. Excuse me, the scout over there. Okay. Nice lands in here. Yeah, Babylon's isolated with me next to him. It's bad news for him. Let's settle. I am going to go in happy for that. Um, let's go get my worker over here. I can tribute. Uh, I, want the, I want the worker. So this is turn 28 on Quebec. Next time we can tribute from them is 39. And let's scout through here. Okay, Barb in there, don't really care. We're gonna get a tribute from Yevron too. Um, Granary in here. Uh, oh fuck, I forgot about my religion. I should be doing something about that. This is fine for now. Build production. And I need these guys to heal a moment before I keep scouting with them. Uh, they can heal a moment too. And start work on my plantation. Five turns until I get monarchy. Monarchy will make me happy again. I'm kind of annoyed. This looks like inland, and I was actually expecting this to be a decent city, and it's going to be instead a really crappy city. Uh, let's get out of their lands. And let's go get tribute. Hit the unfounded. Natural wonder faith. Okay. Uh, two turns until my settler. I'll probably settle up here on the coast. Uh, oh, I can't leave this guy here. He'll die. So let's run over here. Uh, that city is... 
I'm not sure I like the settlement spot on it. Uh, it's okay though. It's going to be Babylon. Babylon walls are really hard to deal with, but if I can do it early enough, it's on a hill, which is annoying. It's too bad it's not flatland. Flatland would make that nice and easy, but no such luck. Um, let's fortify this guy so I don't have to deal with stuff. Now let's go get tribute. Okay, I can tribute Yevren right now. Great. Uh, I'm going to send the scout around this way in case the, the worker pops out that side. Let's get another worker. It did pop out there. If the barb spawns, the barb steals it, but I can take it back. This is Yevren. Turn 30. The next time I contribute is 41 uh, off them. I'll probably clear the camp while I'm over here. Go have a look at this barb camp. I don't know. We'll go kill Laza. Get over this way either way. When this city grows, I'll allow it to do other things. I'm unhappy right now. I'd like to get happy again. This is Pangea. Alright, more barbs up here. Um, I guess I'm okay walking this worker the long way. It doesn't really bother me. Oh, I like to tribute Yormus though, or Ormus. So let's, uh, let's get in here. Kill that next turn, I guess. Okay, go happy again. Uh, I want to expand north next. Is there a camp in here? No. I want to expand right on that hill. Move to there, see if we can do this. I'm finishing the barracks. Do I want to finish that barracks? No, I don't want to finish that barracks. I'm going to try Stonehenge. Um, I would like to get a religion this game. And I have enough early game stuff going on otherwise that I'm not in huge concern about doing that if I'm not concerned about the resources spent there. We're losing someone right now. We're getting a spike right now, whoever it is. Can't move. It's really bad. Alright, Ormus target targets nearby encampment. Good timing. Let's go ahead and clear that for Ormus. And we need to get our guys closer if we're going to take tribute. And I want to take tribute. Alright, uh, let's move them up this way. Radar says there's a unit there. That's annoying. Uh, let's move to here. Perhaps we can block. Quickest way to get to there. I need to see what that is before I can go any further. Um, I need trapping next. Let's go ahead and uh, cross. Oops, can't cross the river. No, don't swap. God damn it. I hate it when it does that, when it swaps when you don't want it to. Let's move to here. I can tribute. Okay, cool. Let's grab it. 100 gold from them. Keep the tribute train rolling. We can head east now. And that's Ormus on turn 32. The next time I can tribute is 43. Okay. I could probably chop. I did move this guy here. I didn't want to move him there, but I can chop this tile to uh, increase um, Stonehenge. Alright, my monarchy is really nice right now. Uh, keep me happy when I settle. That is a barb. So we'll move to here uh, to protect the worker in a moment. And um, when did we contribute Quebec City last? We can tribute them again in six turns. Let's start moving uh, east. I want to go tribute Laza and then kill Laza. So I'm going to ignore this barb. He's not doing anything that I care about. This is going to be a long walk for the worker, but oh well. Uh, that's fine. This is fine. I will cross the river again. Sadly. Wasting turns on a settler. Which is so stupid. I need to figure out some way to take advantage of this marble, but this city, the city is not that good over here. I guess the horses make it slightly better. France is doing very nicely. Uh, anything I can do to speed this production up? Not really. I guess when I finish, uh, Barbican Camp is discovered. Okay. Both been targeted. Alright. That's interesting. Let's chop this out. Move to there. Move to there. Grab that. We should be working that instead. And... If I'd moved there first, I would have done that. Okay. Uh, 
Sirius just expanded to Mount Kilimanjaro. Ormus already has another encampment once. Ormus is needy. Alright, um... Let's move to there. Kill this bar. Let's take a uh, rough drain. It's not helpful for this initial attack, but it's something. Um, I want to move to here. And... To there. Let's chop this forest. Finish this pasture up. Uh, I'll just... I will put one attack into that guy. I need to heal these guys again so I can tribute. Let's move to there. Alright, what's this guy doing? France is over here too? Interesting. And they can just fortify for a moment. Okay. Alright. What's production? Production. Um, open terrain. Yeah, that's fine. Cross the river, get back into my territory for faster healing. We're going to go tribute uh, Laza and then kill them. I may need to get some ranged units. Um, I have the wheel, but I don't have anything upgraded that allows me to do anything with the wheel. I need to get horses online pretty soon here. Uh, let's grab writing and scout. can't believe how much room there is. I'm in the middle, believe it or not, with this continent. I'm actually in the middle. Oh, and I forgot to change this over a while back. I should have done that. I don't know how many turns it's been that not growing. I guess there's even potentially another coastal over here. Like in there, or over here, or even taking Yevren. Yevren's actually an okay city. It's on a mountain with a river resource. It's a little vulnerable from this side, but it's something. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna buy this tile so I get the production bonus from chopping it. Down to two turns, cool. Uh, production over here is good for now. Let's go get in here, we'll get the horses online. You can heal. You can get in there, you can get in there. Up to there. So Francis down here, is that what I'm understanding? There's another unique luxury there, crazy. Um, the problem with checking text right now is I only get the people who are immediately adjacent to me to know if uh, they have text. You don't get the tech. You don't get to see the tech cost reduction if uh, you haven't met the player yet. So I'm not sure it would have really mattered looking at that. All right. All right. I will get Stonehenge. I am host, so that means that I will be guaranteed it. Uh, let's set this to production focus and grow. And let's cross the river there, get into here. Uh, these guys can go there. Scout can scout. Nice lands down here too. Uh, heal. Cross the river. Cross the river. Settle. Uh, I'm going to buy them uh, a growth tile. And cross the river. Build a granary. Done. What do I say about taking all these CS around the capital? Uh, they're pretty valuable right now for tribute. I don't know that. I, I don't want to capture a bunch of CS, but I am probably going to take Laza. That makes a nice fourth city right there. And I'm considering uh, either Yevren or Quebec City. Um, I don't know enough about the land south of these guys to say for sure. All right, I'm going to finish my. Uh, I'll probably actually get a watermill here. And once I get horses online, I need to start spamming uh, chariots. <laughs> really. Alright, so Barb spawned out of the camp and uh, was able to attack me from there. So I'm going to get it back this turn, but it does uh, take it. Um, it, is, it is slightly annoying here. Alright, where is this? Watermills. Uh, Obama has an unemployed citizen. Thank you. And let's get over there, improve the luxury. And 
we doing in here? I think a water mill over the Iconda. And then we can keep going. Should be at the tribute again very, very soon. There's France. <laughs> With an unprotected settler. Okay. Thanks, guys, for telling me about Nobamba. I would like first religion. There's no reason I can't get that this game. <laughs> 